In this question, this particular line that result table must contain all three categories makes it quite tricky. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Intro in 50 Question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with the select part, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping and with this video we will be done with advanced select and joins, then we will be moving to sub queries and finally ending with advanced string functions, regex and clauses. In this video, we are going to solve this question called count salary categories and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 36th question of this series called count salary categories and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called accounts with two different columns, account ID and income and both of them has a data type integers. Account ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row contains information about the monthly income for one bank account. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the number of bank accounts for each salary category and the categories are defined as a low salary, all the salaries strictly less than $20,000, average salary, all the salaries in the inclusive range, $20,000 to $50,000 and high salary, all the salaries strictly greater than $50,000. The result table must contain all the three categories. If there are no accounts in a category, return zero. Okay, order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output. So here, how many of these accounts have less than $20,000 salary? So only one, so low salary one. More than 50,000, we have three. So high salary is three. And average, there is no salary between 20,000 and 50,000 included. So for average salary, it should be zero. And that is what we have in our output. Okay. So in this question, this particular line that result table must contain all three categories makes it quite tricky because if you go by this, so here you can add a third column called category based on the certain conditions that if it is less than 20,000, it is low salary between 20 and 50, then it is an average salary and more than 50, it is a high salary. But we need to do something more than that. So for example, if I add that column, so hey, for example, from this table called accounts, if I say that, okay, let's keep all the columns, select star, and then use the case when statements to basically add a third column called category based on the income. So if I do, case when your income is less than 20,000, then you have a low salary. If, right, and then when your income is between, between 20,000 and 50,000, then you have average salary. And of course, the third condition is high salary. So else it is a high salary. Okay, and since we started a case when statement, we need to end this and as let's call it category. Okay, let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we have in our output. So here we have a third column called category which classifies the low salary, medium salary or high salary. The spelling should be okay. Let me go ahead and run this again. Okay. So now once we have this, then had this line not been written in our question that result table must contain all the three categories, we can simply group by the category and count the number of account IDs and that would have that output that we required. But the problem is it says even though the category does not belong here, you have to have that in our output. So to do that, let us switch to Excel and try to see what is the logic that we can develop. Okay. So the third column that we added was category and this is what we have okay now what if we create another table which has the all the categories that are required in our output so let's say for example we create a table whose uh, you know name of the column is category and we have a low salary so if we join these two right so low salary is equal to low salary so there will you will be having this row then average salary it won't find anything so it will have null values and for high salary it will find three different matches so three different rows so what i'm doing is okay so this is what we have now we need to create a table called cat which has all the categories so what we can do is let's put this entire thing into parentheses okay and then let me just drag it below okay now let me create a table so uh, to create the table we need to use the union clause so return low salary low salary as uh, it should be capital okay low salary as category union return 
average salary and then union return high salary so this code this code is going to create this table this table called category now using these two so this is a table right so from this table so this entire thing if i put this in parentheses so this is a table and which is we are calling cat right so this is what we are calling cat okay now from this table so from this table called cat if i left to join left to join this table so whatever we created so the table that already has two columns and we are creating a third column and let's alias this as table say let's say capital t oh and you know left we are since we are left joining so we need to provide okay on cat dot category is equal to t dot category and let me return everything so if i just do select star let's see what do we have in our output okay let me just drag it above so now we have the category uh, from the table that we just created and then these three columns are coming from the table t okay now here we can get that okay for every category how many rows we have now if i just go ahead and group by the category and count the account id remember a property of count is if you provide count star it will count all the rows irrespective of whether there are nulls or not but when you do a count of a particular column it will only count non-null values so if you group by the category and count the account id for low salary it will be okay one account only for high salary it will count three accounts but for average salary there is no non-null account so it will count it as zero and that is how we are able to get that output so what we can do is so this is what we have right so after performing a join so if i go ahead and group by so group by this column category is coming from cat table so cat dot category and if i return cat dot category and count the account id coming from the table t so count t dot account id and why i'm not doing distinct because here it says account id is a primary key so column with unique values so we do not need to do that and let's alias this as uh, accounts count so as accounts count okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have in our output okay let me just drag it above so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how i do it so yeah you know why i did that this question can also be solved using three different unions lead code does not allow us to create temporary tables but you can you can think about this right so this entire table can be just written one table above this then this can be another table and these cables can be directly used to get another values as well so here this question was for every category count the number of accounts what if the question said okay count that then also get the minimum of that particular category and maximum of that particular category and so on so if you do that by union you will need to change a lot of stuff but here you don't need to do anything all we did was okay from this entire thing you can just do count and then place a comma and then minimum of the salary maximum of the salary etc so you see this makes our solution very generalized so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video